Hi, I'm Katie Pasquini Mossapust, and I'm one of the instructors for iQuilt.com. And my class is called Color Theory for Quilters. And it's all about the color wheel and how to work with value and composition and all sorts of fun little games that you play with color. And the first thing is that you all, everyone needs a color wheel. And you can go to the art supply store and get one, but it's out of paper. And we're quilters, so we're going to make one out of fabric. So we're going to start by marking off the fabric so that you have six sections. And that'll give our color wheel um, a nice flow and have everything fit together right. And we're going to start with the primary colors. So yellow, red, and blue. And these are the medium values. So these will be like the pure saturated color of the primaries. So from, every, from those three primaries, you can mix all the other colors. So yellow and red will create orange. And those are secondaries. Red and blue create violet. And blue and yellow make green. So we have the primaries and the secondaries. So we can go further with that and mix a primary and a secondary to get a tr tertiary. Or I kind of think of a one and a two to make a three. So yellow plus orange would be yellow-orange. And these tertiary colors, that's how you know they are, is because there's two names to them. The, the, you name the color on either side of it. So yellow-orange, red-orange, Red-violet, blue-violet, blue-green, and yellow-green. And so that makes the full color wheel, the full spectrum of color. So you have your primaries, your secondaries, and your tertiaries. Those are all the medium, really bright, beautiful colors. But to get a full value range, you need to add light for the tints and black or dark for the shades. So I'm going to go first with the tints. I'm going to add white just to the primary and the secondary. So there would be my light yellow. There's my light red. Light blue. So those are the lights of the primaries and then the secondaries. So a light orange, a light violet, and green. So those are the light end of a value run and those add illumination to your work. So light and airy. So then to add dark to them to get the depth or the shades, Yellow. A lot of people don't think yellow gets that dark, but when you add black, if you had paint and you mixed it, you would get a very dark yellow. That's where you get your browns with the um, warm colors adding dark to them. So I'm just going to do the primaries first. So there's the yellow, a darker red, and a really cool dark blue. And then for the secondaries, dark orange. And people again say, that's a brown. Well, that's where you get your browns, is with the yellows and the oranges when you add black to them. That's where you get the brown end of the spectrum. Dark violet and dark green. And so this is a very useful tool for us as quilters, and that's what we'll go over in the class, is how you use this as a tool to make your quilts really beautiful. So I hope you join me. It's really a lot of fun. Color Theory for Quilters, iQuilt.com.